Well, today we're talking about this guy right here. If you follow my channel, I've already talked about this quite a bit, but this is my absolute favorite trigger yet, and this is the Blackout Defense Zero Reset Trigger. This particular model is the AR-10 four-pound trigger. They also make an AR-15 three-pound trigger and a 4.5-pound trigger, both in straight trigger configuration and curved triggers as well. So I've installed that trigger on my gun a couple months ago. I haven't taken it through any kind of like training courses, anything like that, but I have brought that rifle out with me a lot when I go shooting, and it's real fun to do mag dumps. And I guess my biggest impression right now with that trigger is it's fast. The reset on that trigger is incredible. They call it a zero reset for a reason. It forcefully kind of pushes your finger forward a little bit. So you don't have to let up too hard on that trigger to get that reset to click to make a repeat shot. Not to mention the break is very light and crispy. I want to say that trigger pull test, it came in somewhere under three pounds, just below three pounds. Consistent trigger pull as well. So I installed that trigger on this guy right here. This is my LWRC M6IC. And as you can see, blackout defense trigger right there. So this is a three pound version. And look at this. Here's the trigger pull. Barely any movement. Reset. Right there. Barely any movement between. There's like not much movement between that reset and trigger pull. It's, it's a great trigger. I'm gonna show you guys with comparison. Something that I have not upgraded the trigger yet on is this guy right here. This is the PSA KS-47. Now this is a really fun gun, but it does still have a mil spec trigger on it. Now the trigger isn't bad, and if you haven't experienced a trigger, like an aftermarket trigger, you get used to that mil spec feel. But let's check it out. So this is a mil spec trigger. I'm not sure if you saw how much that traveled. Here's your reset too. So you can see there's a lot more movement, a lot more pressure needs to be applied to making fast follow-up shots. Now again, I'm not bashing this gun whatsoever because I really do love this KS-47. I actually have another update video coming out soon with it too. Until you've experienced an aftermarket trigger, especially a performance trigger, it's hard to really judge. Basically what I'm getting at is you kind of have to, you have to try it to believe in it. Now, I actually discovered this because a friend of mine, Tactical Considerations, had one installed inside his gun and I tried it and I instantly fell in love, like purely love at first sight. I've tried a bunch of different triggers between the Radian, which the Radian has a very good trigger as well. Um, I've tried the Geisley. I've also tried the Timney. Now I don't have a lot of time behind the Timney. And then of course I've tried various mil spec triggers. Still to this day, of all the triggers, this guy is still my favorite, the Blackout Defense. Now, I do wanna say it sounds kind of shilly of me you know, talking so highly about a product. I have had the opportunity to actually meet the owners of the company and they are such good people too, very customer service oriented. They actually care about their customers, they care about their products a lot. It's not just a money grab for them. Blackout Defense does make really high quality components. They also make um, fully built AR-15s that are absolutely stunning. In regards to the triggers in the AR-15s, their technology is actually pretty cutting edge. Anyways, just wanna talk about this. I'm actually gonna build a blog list of all the triggers that I've tried. I'm gonna have links for you guys where you can find them at the best prices as well. I know you guys have seen me post about this trigger. Rarely do I actually fanboy out about any particular product in general. The Blackout is kind of an exception, which is weird. And no, Blackout has not paid me to say this stuff. Um, I've truly just become like a believer in the company and in the products. They're really that good. So if you have the opportunity to try one, I'd definitely take the opportunity to do so. It's a great trigger. Anyways, thank you all so much, everybody. I'll see you guys later.